Hello, and welcome to Easy Worship 7. First of all, I want to thank you for installing Easy Worship. Whether you've already purchased the software or you're evaluating it, we as a company pray that this can be an amazing and powerful tool for worship for you and your church. In this video, I'll teach you a few basic things to help get you started. If you're running the demo, you'll notice there is an Easy Worship watermark on the live output. That watermark will disappear once the software is purchased and registered. There are three different layouts in Easy Worship 7. In every view, all resources will be at the bottom of the screen under different tabs. Songs for your song database, Scripture for any Bible scriptures you wish to use, Media for your videos, images, camera feeds, DVD clips, and audio files, Presentations for creating announcement loops or sermon notes, or even importing PowerPoint files, and Themes for creating and using song, scripture, and presentation themes. This resource area can be resized up or down to fit your needs. Drag and drop your resource items for your service to the schedule area in the top left. For instance, drag and drop your songs, scriptures, media, you can even drop videos and images directly on the songs or scriptures to use as backgrounds. And presentations. You can save and reopen that schedule when you're ready to use it. Select an item in your resource area or the schedule and click Go Live to send it live to your output screen. If the item has more than one slide, you can select which one is showing on the output screen from the live window in the center. The live output window on the right will mirror what you see on that output screen. All of these windows can also be resized to suit your needs. The menus at the top of Easy Worship are File, Edit, Live, Profiles, View, and Help. For this video, I'll specifically show you just a few of these. Clicking the Edit menu, then Options, will take you to the global options for Easy Worship. Here you can change default font settings, display settings, scripture settings, and much more. The Profiles menu will allow you to edit and create profiles and add or remove the demo data. Under View, you can switch between the three different layout views and choose your interface color, dark or light. And under the Help menu, you have the Easy Worship Help file, you can manually check for updates, and register Easy Worship by clicking on Register Products. On the main toolbar, you can create a new schedule, song, or presentation from the New button. Open an existing schedule file, save a schedule, access our media store, click Web for a web browser and Song Select Import, and Remote allows you to connect to an iOS device for controlling the schedule with our remote app. Go Live will send whatever you have selected to your live output screen. With alerts, set up a nursery or message alert. To create and use the logo button, right click on your logo image under Media and select Set as Logo Background. When you want to show the logo, Click the Logo button. Click Logo again to turn it off. You can also black out the screen with the black button and just clear the text and any foreground elements with the clear button. 
The Live button toggles your live output off and on. To add songs, click the New button on the toolbar and select New Song. Or click the Songs tab and right click in the Song Library and select New Song. Or click the plus sign at the bottom of the Song Library. To add media, click the Media tab. For videos, make sure you select Videos, then right-click in the library and select Import New Video File. For images, select Images on the left, and then right-click in the library and select Import New Image File. To create announcements or sermon notes, click the Presentations tab and right-click in the Presentation Library and select New Presentation. To import PowerPoint files, you can select Import PowerPoint from that same right-click menu. Under the Themes tab, you can set a default song, scripture, or presentation theme by selecting your option on the left, then right-click the desired theme and choose Set as Song, Scripture, or Presentation Theme. There are so many other powerful features available in Easy Worship 7, so please visit our training videos page for more videos. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Easy Worship.